Guys, so today, I'm going to show you how to, um, put this onto a generic bat box. I mean, no, we're going to, first we're going to do overview of it, or review it, we're going to be reviewing, and we'll be putting it to its own bat box. So right here, this is the call switch right here. As you can see, there are two holes there. Um, let me take these out. So right here, this is the call switch itself, as you can see. And on, on the back, they have the circuit. This is the circuit board, which, circuit board, whatever it is, is right up on the back. And simply, if you see these two, so as you can see, there are two color buttons, two color coded buttons. This one is the red button, which is in which is emergency, and the, this one is the normal. So un unfortunately, to the way you can install it. But before, we're not going to do that right now first. We'll be looking at the basics about what it says. So on the top, Telecenter, like Telecenter makes its own companies like call switches, Emergence, Emer, and Norm. And Norm means normal, and it'll be the call-in. And Emer means it's emergency, so that should be the red button. And Telecenter should be like this. But this one could be the Roland um, board, something like that. So basically, they get something let me just let me get the the wires just real quick okay so i got the wires now so the wires so the wires came with this call switch so basically what you want to do is get your wires which is right here and turn your call switch onto the back which is right here and you're going to see this little plug right there make sure you plug into this thing right here Hold on, okay, this thing, this thing connects, so you have to connect it to the circuit board, or it, it, it's not a circuit board, it's just the, the switch itself. And now your wires are in. And, yeah, and also all you have to do is, um, do, do all of your, do all of your wiring, and after you're done with your wiring, you can connect it to the speaker, which is nice. They have these at my school, so, yeah. So that's this one. Okay, guys. Now we're going. Now I'm going to show you how to install the switch. And actually, you have to install this unit on the wall. So basically, they have to do. It means they have the bat box on the wall. They like the bat box, meaning one of these, which is the the Home Depot's red bat box. And this thing, this thing, this thing here fits right onto it. Or if it's just flush mounted, it could be the bat box right into the wall. So let's say this one is just the bat box. So you have the wall right here with your wires coming through. And take your wires, get your thing right, get your metal plate, and put this put this thing and get your thing and snap on right here. Now your device is in. And then and now it gets your two screws that they give you and put them on there. Put them on the board. Like, this is going to be simple. So, I'm not going to install... I'm not going to put it on the back box for fun because I'm going to show you this in a minute. So, there. So right here, I have this thing right here. So basically, in the normal calling, um, student or teacher needs to reach the front office. You press that normal button, and I, it would tell you that the office has been called. And the other one is emergency. Between these two buttons is the emergency button, and you need to press the emergency button right here. And then it would tell you that the emergency button has been pressed. So this is one is a really nice device. I I tell you that. So the simply want to do with this thing is just like all you have to do is install this and put it on the wall. <laughs> Once again, so all you have to do with this one is you have to go to the device I'm going to show you now. And it simply place the screws right into these two holes right there. You you'll see it. Place them place them here. Like this thing should not be in the back box, so this one should be flush mounted. 
This is basically nice, basically when you didn't know. But for now, for that, just for fun, we'll be go ahead and put this into the into the back box and see how it looks like. Once again, um, take take your back box, which is right here, and number two, get your device. Snap on right here. And number three, screw in the screws. Just like you, like, like I just said to you earlier. Just a second, I can't squeeze it hard. It's not hard enough to install. Um that's why you need to use a different back box or something like that. Heh. But this is too hard to wire. This is this is too hard to install. Just like I tell you that. So get rid of this back box, we don't need it. Let me find a different one and see what happens. Okay, so I have something really special for you. Is it, is it going to be a surprise? Dun, da, da, da. You see? Look. I made this thing into the Gentex Fire Alarm and Paw Switch combo. You like it? Well, we just this is, this is really nice, I believe. I can tell you that. Um, Right here, we have this. um, Paw Switch right here to the Fire Alarm, but I didn't wire it up, you can see. Wow. But the Gentex Commander 3 needs to be sideways, not normal-ish. But... But... Let me just turn it and sideways it. Let's do it. And it's, this one's all fixed. As you can see, I have this. This is really nice, I believe. Gentex Commander 3 call switch. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we should wire this. But let's see that we can wire it. But you can't but you can't. It's closed. But for now I'll just snap it in. So this comes horn, but it doesn't do anything, but I will be pressing it anyways. There it is. See? All it works was the cost switch and the Gentex Commander 3. And, yeah, um, I think that'll be it of this video, probably. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, with this up, and have a great day.